Hi guys, I'm Kim. Today is day six of Booktubeathon and I have not read as many books as I would have liked. I am currently up to into A Quarter Thorn and Rosa Still, which is my third book. Um, 150 pages in. I am so enjoying it. And today's video challenge was to do chubby bunnies while doing a book review. So I'm going to share my thoughts about the first 150 pages of A Quarter Thorn and Roses because I just got to a certain scene and I was just like, ah, feels. So, yes, and sorry for my camera, it's being weird. I'm using a different camera this time, and so it's focusing in and out. I don't know why. But yes. So, for the Chubby Bunnies challenge, I am using Maltesers instead of marshmallows, just because I feel like it. And I haven't done Maltesers, as I've only done marshmallows. And my mouth's very small. And the marshmallow, not many marshmallows. So, let's go. So, A Quarter Thorn and Roses is basically a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. But it's seen, like, Belle is not into reading books. She can't, well, sorry. Belle is fire? Is it fire? I think it's pronounced fire. And she does, it's not books are not her thing, but art is. And she loves painting. And so, that is very exciting for me because I love my painting and my art. I wish I was better at it. But yeah. Um, yeah, so she is basically very badass and ends up killing up. Oh, and the beast is like a fairy. This land is with fairies. When I read the blurb, I'm like, you sure this is Beauty and the Beast? Because they're like fairies, I don't remember. But yeah, no. It's got fairies in it and like the fairies are the beasts or whatever and so fire goes out and kills a fairy that is disguised as a wolf and like she's hunting she's starving like think Katniss Everdeen pre-Hunger Games having to hunt for food she shoots this wolf and there's like a treaty with the fairies and so the flowers like come and together wow the one that's technically the beast come together. His name is he um Google P um Tamalin. So Tamalin um like basically if we are suffering for um is the approximate of that like, your library in B and B. Um I like the Zipsy Art Gallery, well it's not Zipsy, but it's better as an art gallery. And so, and so I'm just really excited to continue reading. I don't know how many words it is, I can fit in my mouth. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking how interesting the characters are in this book. It's not by a cricket, and she's so bad at fire. Mm. I'm drooling on myself, I can't close my mouth. I think that's it. Mm. Ow. That is a lot of chocolate in my mouth right now. But yeah, I'm so enjoying the Cold of Thorn Roses. Hopefully I'll get it finished tomorrow or today technically because it's after midnight in Australia as I'm filming this and um, yeah I've been busy I have had work today then I had friends and then dinner and spend time with dad so pretty much family and then tomorrow I've also got stuff planned but hopefully I'll get like a chunk of time for reading and after I finish editing this and it's uploading, I'm going to be reading because I want to finish this book. I'm loving it. But this will satisfy the seven challenges as I've done, said in my previous videos. Like, the first one was read a book with blue on the cover. The Bane Chronicles and Shiver both have blue on the cover. Um, read a book, I know these are out of order, I'm going off the top of my head. Read a book with an author that has the same first letter of your last name. 
So I went with Sarah Reese Brennan in The Bane Chronicles, and she wrote seven short stories, and they were all each ebooks. Like, on. They're all separate ebooks. So, seven out of like the 11 stories. So, technically, seven books already. That's the last. That's the seventh challenge. Read a book. Read a um, person's favorite book. Shiva is Alicia's favorite book. Um, read a book you really want to read. This is the book I really want to read. I've been meaning to get to it for a while. I've got sticky hands. I don't want to get chocolate hands on pretty book. And it's like one of those velvet cover books. It feels so nice. If you know what I mean. Like, we've all been there. It's just, it's so pretty. Read it. But yeah, pretty much that reading this book satisfies the last challenge I haven't completed yet. I can't remember the others off the top of my head. But yeah, I'm not trusting my brain right now. It's after midnight. I need to continue reading. Hope you guys are going alright with the Booktubeathon and I shall see you tomorrow for the last day. Wish me luck. Bye.